हे एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो वेलकम टू वेट इट्स यू यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेमरी ग्रोथ एंड इट्स डेवलपमेंट और अल्टीमेटली द मैमोजेनेसिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मैमोजेनेसिस इज कंपराइज ऑफ टू वर्ड्स मैमो प्लस जेनेसिस so you can relate the mammo with the mammary gland and genesis with the production so ultimately the mammogenesis is the process of development of mammary glands the process of mammogenesis will begins in the early fetus stage when the growing fetus is present inside the mother's womb and will proceed beyond the initiation of lactation so the whole process of the mammogenesis consist of several stages the first stage is prenatal or the fetal stage when the growing fetus is present inside the mother's womb the prepubertal stage which is a stage before the puberty the postpubertal stage the pregnancy stage the early lactation and involution stage the properties of different stages are quite clear with their name that when they will occur but you might be thinking of involution so basically the involution is the shrinking of the udder or returning of the udder to its original shape and size after the lactation in the simple term the different stages of the mammogenesis will contribute the different structure for the development of udder which will increase its size as well as the shape and these all development stages will help in the smooth conduct of the mammogenesis and afterwards when the process of the lactation is completed the different developmental changes inside the udder in its shape or the size will reverse back and this process is known as involution now moving further we will discuss about the mammary development under the fetal stage so first of all the question arises that what are the different cells involved in the development of any organ inside the fetus so basically the analogs are the first group of cells to develop and give rise to a particular organ or you can say the primordium an organ a structure or the tissue in the earliest stage of the development so here in the case of the mammary development inside the fetus it will develop from the analog as you already know that the different organs have their own blood supply lymph vessels connective tissue fat pads smooth muscles in general so in the case of the mammary development the mesoderm will become the source of these cellular structures this was the first ignition provided by the analog or the mesoderm towards the mammary growth and its development so the important points to note down about the mammary development inside the fetus as only the basic structures will form which will occurs at the first half of the pregnancy as you already know that the different germ layers are formed during the embryonic development that is ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm so the mammary tissues will develop from the ectodermal germ layer inside the fetus moving further in the development of the mammary gland inside the fetus as it will involve the thickening of the endoderm on the both sides of the midline now the mammary line will develop by the 30 days in utero basically when the fetus is present inside the mother's womb and these mammary lines are the precursors to the mammary glands and the teeth now after the development of the mammary line the mammary buds will form these buds simply signifies the number of glands present in the adult's mammary gland now these mammary buds will transfer or sinks into the mesenchyme the mesenchyme cells are mainly the mesodermal embryonic tissues which will develop into the connective tissue and the skeletal tissue including the blood supply and the lymph vessels 
Now after the formation of the mammary bud along the mammary line it will sprout into the primary stage which will form the teat meters teat gland cistern and the duct system involved in the udder now the primary sprout will canalize and lead to the formation of different canals which will become the secondary sprout and includes the formation of the major ducts so abhi tak humne kya dekha ki sabse pehle kya hua thickening of ectoderm on both sides of midline uske baad mammary line bani mammary line ke baad mammary bud bani which will sinks into the mesenchyme jiski madad se connective tissue aur skeletal tissues ne janam liya and this mammary bud will sprout into the primary stage jisse teat meatus teat gland cisterns aur duct system bane uske baad primary sprout stage fir se canalize hua and will give rise to the secondary sprout which will form the major ducts so here are the different developmental stage involved in the mammary development inside the fetus so sabse pehle band streak line or crest ka formation hua basically the band streak line crest are the thickenings of the ectoderm forms on the midline which will help in the mammary development now after that the hillock will form basically a primary structure which signifies the location of the mammary development now after that the bud will form which will canalize to the formation of primary sprout now primary sprout will give rise to the secondary sprout which will forms the major ducts now again the primary sprout will formed which will lead to the formation of the early teats so this was the chronological order of the different structures formed during the fetal mammary development now here are the different structures formed in different development stage and their roles described so first of all the band streak line crest or the hillock are the transitional states which are just the thickening of the ectoderm along the midline now the next stage is formed because of the localization of the epithelial tissues which will lead to the formation of the bud now the formation of the epidermal cone will lead to the formation of streak canal streak canal is just the entrance of the udder now the formation of primary sprout will differentiate into its distal end which will develop into the teat sinus and the proximal end which will develop into the gland sinus so basically inside the udder there are different sinuses so first sinus is the lactiferous sinus also known as milk sinus which is the milk storage cavity present inside the teat and the glandular body so the teat sinus is the part of the milk sinus present within the teat and the gland sinus is the part of the milk sinus present within the glandular body the next stage is the secondary sprout stage which will help in the formation of the networks of the duct and the mesenchymes i already told you that the localized thickening of the embryonic tissue which will develop into the fibrous tissues fat pad connective tissue blood limb vessels and smooth muscles now we will talk about the formation of teat so when the primary sprout starts proliferating outward and lateral pressure causes the teat formation so basically when the primary sprout will start to differentiate outward and because of the lateral pressures of the different tissues involved in the udder it will lead to the formation of the teat the whole teat formation have three different types which are present on different animals the first type is the epithelial ingrowth type it is found in those animals that used to crawl on the ground and burrow inside the sand like rat mouse hamster and this type of the growth will reduce the teat injury 
द अनदर टाइप ऑफ द टीट फॉर्मेशन इज द प्रोलिफरेशन टाइप इट इज फाउंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द यूथेरियन और द प्लेसेंटल मैमल्स लाइक हॉर्स काउ शीप ह्यूमन्स एट्सेट्रा एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ द टीट फॉर्मेशन विच इज द इवर्जन फाउंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटाथीरियन और द मार्सुपियल्स एनिमल्स लाइक कैंगरू एक्सेट्रा इट सिंपली रिसम्बल्स द इन्वर्टेड फिंगर ऑफ द रबर ग्लव present within the pouch with a tiny nipple at the base and this inverted finger like or the pocket appearance will disappears as the lactation begins and the teat will extend now moving further we will discuss about the growth of mammary gland at the time of birth so at the time of the birth the teats are well developed and the secondary sprout will start to canalize which will continue its growth and lead to the formation of a well developed duct system the growth of the secondary sprout will be limited to the area around the gland cistern basically the gland cistern is the cavity which will stores the milk between the two milking periods at the time of the birth the non secretory tissues will also formed like connective tissue blood vessels and the lymph vessels but the secretory and the glandular parts of the udder are not developed these all structures are well developed in the female animal but not fully developed in the case of male now we will discuss about the different developmental changes occur during the development of the mammary gland from the birth till the time of the puberty so from the birth to the puberty of a female animal the udder will increases in both weight as well as its capacity the udder will also increase in the amount of the connective tissue and the fat the amount of the fat pad deposition will occur around the front and the rear quarters which will approach each other basically the fat pads are the adipose tissues which will accumulate and help in increment of the size of the udder the system of the duct and its network will continue to grow and gives a shape to the udder which will looks like a mature one along with these all development the amount of dna will also increased from the time of birth to the puberty from birth to the 3 months of the age of a female animal there will be the isometric growth of the dna as it will parallelly grow with the other tissues like connective tissue fat tissues etc and after the 3 months to the age of puberty there will be the allometric growth of the dna it means that the increment of the dna content will be greater than the amount of the other tissues so this is the pictographical representation of the growth of mammary gland so first of all the formation of a mammary gland is characterized by the formation of just a single duct which will undergo the branching to form the more complex structure these branching will continue till the formation of a compound branches now after the formation of the compound branches the buds will form on the ends of the duct which will enlarge in response to the different hormonal stimuli so yahan pe simply bas yahi bataya gaya hai ki sabse pehle ek simple duct hogi which will go under the further stages of the branching and lead to the formation of a compound branch a complex network and in this complex network of the different ducts a bud will form on its end which will help in the enlargement of the mammary gland in the response to the different hormonal stimuli occurs at the different stages of the life here in this video i have just completed the half of the mammogenesis process and will continue the further stages in the upcoming video 
आई होप यू लाइक इट सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल वेट इट्स यू थैंक्स फॉर द वॉचिंग एंड इनिशियटिव बाय अंकित कौशिक